Vines. Here in the Vines Center tonight, the Radford Highlanders needed a victory to secure a top five seed in the upcoming Big South Championships. They were denied by the Liberty Flames. 80 to 69, the final score here tonight as Liberty knocks off their in-state conference rival. The Flames had a trio of double-digit scorers here tonight, led by Theo Johnson with a career-high 26 points. Theo Johnson also 14 of 18 at the foul line. Drew Smith chipped in with a double-double. He had 20 points and 10 boards, and then 14 from David Ando, most of which came in the second half. This game featured numerous ties and lead changes, and down the stretch, it was the Flames that were able to answer the call. I feel really good. Um, first of all, because of the wind, uh, there's not much soreness in my foot. So, I mean, everything, just energy's going through. I feel pretty good. Like you've seen tonight, we've, everyone stepped up. It wasn't just like one player or anything. Drew stepped up, to Theo, I mean, everyone. And I think it was just a team effort. It just wasn't one person. This team, we've been really working. And uh, we've been going through a struggle, but we're starting to see the daylight. And we just kept believing in that. And then tonight it came through. It was a very big win for us, uh, especially being Radford. I've heard it was a very big rivalry game around here. So, I mean, that's definitely a confidence booster for us. That was, that was one of the things we missed. We didn't really have a second ball handler like that. And Joe, I mean, being our primary ball handler pretty much all season, it really hurt us. And him being back now is definitely going to help us in the long run. So one of our struggles all season was that we couldn't really figure it out, how to counter attacks like that, and we did today. Uh, we prepared for it because we know uh, when we played them there, they came out second half and uh, it really, they really killed us and jumped on us. So, like, uh, coach, they really hit it in the locker room on us. Like, RJ's going to come out and shoot it. And he's, uh, this is, uh, this is uh, where they usually take the lead. And then uh, we just said that we were going to um, continue to fight and then not give up. Having the lead, having opportunity, I thought our best defenders were on the floor. We made free throws. Uh, we, we showed a lot of poise, and I'm uh, uh, very pleased with our guys. I thought we played our game more tonight than ever. I thought we handled their pressure the right way. Um, I thought that uh, there was a, not a lot of difference between this game and at Radford other than we handled their pressure. And they gave us more opportunities. I thought we, we stuck to what we wanted to do game plan wise. I got our guys prepared really well. And uh, I'm, I'm very, very thankful for being in the locker room with those guys because I know their hearts and their hearts are what uh, kind of pulled them through uh, to this point. Flames celebrating a victory here in the Vine Center in a game that featured six ties and seven lead changes as the Flames get it done against the Highlanders. On the other side, R.J. Price had 20 points tonight, 13 of those came in the second half. He knocked down three three-pointers early on in the second half to get the Highlanders back into the game. Radford led by as many as seven, but Liberty able to overtake Radford in the end for the victory. The Flames now 8-22 and 22 on the year. Radford with a loss falls to 20-10. and 10. Liberty now turns its sights to UNC Asheville here on Saturday. It will be senior day for the Flames as they'll send out their two seniors, James Johnson and Drew Smith. Special start time of 3 o'clock. Doors open 2 o'clock here in the Vine Center. In Lynchburg, for the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.